What's going on everybody? Stanley Parrish here. Welcome back to the show. I hope you're having a creative day today. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to make people float in your photos. Okay, so here we go. As you can see, I have my wonderful model here. Her name is Macy. Hey, what's going on, Macy? This is the image we're going to recreate. So, let's go ahead and get it done. This is the original. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to make two groups. I'm going to name the first group background. I'm going to make another group. And we're going to name that subject. I'm going to make a copy of the background layer. We're going to drag that to the background group. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take my brush tool. And I'm just going to brush over this, over her foot right here. like that and I'm gonna brush down here at the bottom just to get rid of some of these shadows here so the next thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna make a selection of this area where you can see all that ugly stuff in the background I'm gonna hit control T for transform I'm just going to drag it over, just stretch it out all the way, just like that. We're going to do the same thing on the right side. Make a selection, hit control T and we're going to drag it over to the right. And what I'm going to do now is make a selection of this area. And then we're going to do a content aware feel. So you can go to edit, feel, content aware, hit OK. And we're going to let Photoshop just fill that in for us. Good job. We'll do the same thing on this side. Feel that area. Now the shortcut key on the PC is shift and backspace. So if you hold shift and hit backspace, it's gonna bring up the field. So we're gonna do another content aware field. We're gonna take our brush tool. We're just gonna brush a little bit more. Just try to clean it up a little bit. Okay, the next thing you want to do is make a selection of the subject. So I'm just going to make a rough selection. I'm going to zoom back in. And I'm just going to drag around her like this. All right, I'm going to hit shift backspace, content aware. Let Photoshop do its thing. <coughs> There we go, we have a nice, clean backdrop. I'm just gonna brush over it just a little bit more, just to smooth it out. Now I'm gonna take the back, the original background layer, I'm gonna make a copy, and I'm gonna bring that up to the subject folder, the subject, the subject group. I'm gonna rename that to subject or model, let's just, let's just say model. All right. I'm gonna grab my quick selection tool, zoom in. 
and we're gonna just make a selection of her so just drag around your subject and get the hands the arms get everything now I'm gonna go to select and mask at the top here zoom in Okay. Uh, on the right side under global refinements I'm going to shift the edge to let's say negative uh, 15% I'll say negative 10% I'm going to check uh, de decontaminate colors I'm going to leave my smoothness at 8 the feather is at 0.2 the contrast is at 14%. Gonna hit OK. And there we go. We have our floating model here. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom in and just kind of round her bottom just a little bit here. So I'm going to click my mask and I'm going to mask away some of this stuff. I'm going to paint with black to remove some of this stuff right here. Just to kind of make it a little softer. I'm going to duplicate this layer. And then I'm going to hide the top one. On the model copy layer, I'm going to right click and I'm going to hit apply layer mask and that's going to get rid of the mask. All right, so I'm going to make a new layer underneath this one. And I'm going to call that shadow. Okay, so I'm going to bring the original image back for a second. So I'm going to unhide this model layer here and I'm going to make a new layer. I'm going to name that shadow guide. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to trace where her original shadow was. I'm going to pick maybe like a red color. Okay, and I'm just going to trace along her shadow right here. Now I'm going to hide the original layer and I have my shadow outline there and the way we're going to create the shadow we're going to control click this layer we want to select this layer from where we cut her out so you're going to I'm going to I'm going to control click this layer and it's going to automatically select her so we have our selection here so you want to go back to your shadow layer once you have that selected and we're going to fill that with black I'm going to hit control backspace to fill this. And I'm going to hide this so you can see. Now we're left with the black. We're going to use that for our shadow. Okay. So I'm going to bring this down. Then what I'm going to do now, I'm going to hit control T. And I'm gonna position this where the shadow um, outline is. So I'm gonna um, I'm gonna hold Control, and I'm gonna drag these points around. So I'm gonna bring this top down right here. We just wanted to match this outline. So we have our shadow now. So the next thing I want to do is actually, um, I'm going to change the aspect ratio of this image because I want it to be uh, wider. I'm going to grab my crop tool. I'm going to leave this at 16 to nine. 
make sure you have content aware uh, checked up here at the top and I'm gonna drag this out just like that I'm gonna hit the check mark and Photoshop should fill in those areas for us. Okay, so she's sitting a little bit uh, too straight up. I kind of want her leaning more. So I'm gonna hit Control T and I'm just gonna rotate it like that to make it look like she's actually, you know, floating like that. And I'm just gonna nudge her up just a little bit I'm gonna take my move tool and just move her up. So the next thing we're gonna take the shadow layer and we're gonna apply a Gaussian blur to it to make it blurry, make it look realistic. To about 150 pixels. I'm gonna change the blending mode to multiply. And I'm just gonna decrease the opacity just a little bit. Like that. I'm gonna go back to my background group and just paint again over the backdrop. Just to smooth out the colors. Smooth the background. There we go. And that's how you make people look like they're floating in your photos. Go out there, have fun, give it a try. Let me know how it goes for you. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please, if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up, it really helps. I appreciate you for watching. Share this video with all your friends and family. And I'll see you on the next one.